Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to synchronize two charts. That means when I move my first chart, I want my second chart to move as well. So I have here with me a very basic React, React setup that I have created using Vite. Since Create React App is not recommended in React's official website, that is why I used Vite. So it's very simple actually, if you search for Vite React. It, here you will find all the necessary guide to get started. It's, it's, it's very simple, so you won't face any trouble um, getting started. So if I head back to my code now, you'll see that I have a very basic React setup. It's a fresh new project, and all I have is hello. If I go to the front end, live site, so it's only hello. So what I want to do is I want to create two charts here. Okay, so let's get rid of this hello and uh, reference this div. Let's call it first chart ref. And uh, since we need two charts, that is why I will get another div and call it second chart ref. Now we need to create these references up here. So first chart ref is equal to a huge ref and uh, const second ref is equal to use ref as well. Okay. Now so to create the first chart, we need a use effect hook. So inside of this use effect hook, let's call this chart um, first chart. And uh, we need a function called create chart that we get from the lightweight charts. And inside of this, we will give an argument. So the argument will be the div element that we referenced. So first chart ref dot current. Okay. And now we have to put all the customization options that's related to this chart. So first chart dot apply options. So I've already shown you all of this in the previous video. So there is no point of going through all of this again. I'm just going to copy a snippet of code. Hopefully you will understand. All right, so I have to import color type and uh, let's put a background color here, call it white and the text color will be black and uh, instead of chart container ref, this will be first chart. Okay, so that was simple. Now we need to create our series inside of our chart. So first chart dot so i want it to be an area series so i will um, call the method add area series and we also need to uh, put it inside a constant so const series equals to first chart dot add area series now we need to provide all the customization options that's related to the series series dot apply options and again i'm going to copy a snippet of code because i have already gone through all of this in the previous videos this is all of our customization options all right now we have our series and inside of our series we need our data so series dot set data and uh, Again, I'll need our uh, data related to this series. So I'm going to copy another snippet of code. It will be an array. All right, so this is our initial data. And I can just simply call it data and uh, let's Put it inside the set data method. 
so let's get back to our project and see what's going on okay so we have two charts for some reason but we haven't really created two yet okay but we have two charts and if you remember uh, the way we fix this is we have to clean up our chart so let's clean this up so uh, we call it first chart and there is a method called remove okay so uh, this is what i'm returning from the use effect okay so this is necessary otherwise you will get uh, two charts for no reason at all so if i refresh the code it is now fixed all right so we have our first chart already now let's create our second chart so let's just uh, duplicate this use effect hook and uh, inside the data is fine there is no need to change the data uh, we have to call the first chart we, we can call it second chart and uh, second chart here as well second chart on the series as well and uh, inside the cleanup we have to call it second chart as well so now we should yeah we are getting two charts so what i want to do is that i want to synchronize um, this two chart so when i move this move the first chart i want to move the second chart as well okay now it is time to introduce you to a new method so for this we have to tap inside the first chart and inside it we have time scale this is a, it's a method so we need brackets and inside it we have another method called subscribe visible logical range change yeah it's a big method so inside of this we have a parameter called range okay. and if i console log the range and uh, if i go to the front end and inspect you see that if i move my first chart i get the range from and to value all right so this is my logical range when i zoom in this value also changes okay so i need this value i need to grab this value from the first chart and uh, i need to set it on the second chart so it moves uh, the so the second chart moves when i move the first chart okay so for this we need a state i'm going to call it actually uh i made a mistake oh it's state and uh, by default it should be null so just setting it to null and inside we can just set range to this range all right and uh, on my second chart i want to set this uh, range okay on the on the second chart i want to set this range so for that i need to go below this and uh, for my second chart inside of it i have time scale and inside of time scale we have set visible logical range and it's a method and it takes an argument and i want to put the range inside of it so by default this will give me an error because initially the range is null so i have to put it inside a if statement and check for null if the range exists that means it's not null only then we want to set it okay now uh, we need a dependency for the use effect as well that is the range okay so if i go to the chart in the front end we see that our chart now both chart now synchronizes So that's it for this video.
hopefully i'll see you on the next talk